Hi everybody, Mike Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to explore something totally different, and that is creating and editing video in Photoshop CS6. That's right, video editing. CS5 had some video capability. CS6 has expanded it, not only to the extended version of Photoshop, to, but to the basic one, in which is this is the one I have. I do not use the extended version because I don't work in 3D. In this lesson, I'm going to show you just a base overview. Video creating and editing is an entire course and uh, discipline all to itself. We could spend another 18 hours on that. I'm a still photographer. I don't use video very often, but I wanted to show you how simple it is and some of the features that are quite cool that you can use to do video in CS6. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the video workspace, show you how to import the media, organize and edit your clips, and here's where it's really cool. Look, using adjustment layers to modify the clips, everything works just like a still in Photoshop. You have adjustment layers, you have layers, you can turn them on and off, you can make smart objects, you can apply filter effects to the videos, very cool stuff. That's the real advantage here in Photoshop. And then show you how to add stills, add transitions, add a soundtrack, and render it out. So let's get started and have some fun with video today. Now here is my completed video that I made for you over the weekend. I had some fun doing this one too. Now this is the video workspace and we're going to go back here. Look down in the timeline that's open. We have one here. If we just go and open a new blank file, you know we can create a video timeline from this blank file. Just a simple big button, you hit it and there is the video editing workspace. We're going to go back right now to the actual one that I have created. And here's the, if you notice, same workspace, just have a bunch more clips. Now, what you see here, the basic controls are up on the left side here, just your basic video controls, play, and of course stop after that. You have fast forward, fast reverse, and you can go frame by frame. You can mute audio over the entire, if there's a soundtrack on the video clips, you can mute everything directly from here. This is your trim button. You can split clips by doing this. This is basically how you're going to trim them. These are the available transitions that you have. Very simple transitions in this one. It's just fades and crossfades. Um, and you can also, if you notice, adjust the duration here. There's another way to do it as well. Here is your exact timeline in seconds. You can switch that timeline um, to frame animation if you wish. You can do animation in here as well. Um, below that, we have our clips. And the way I have them organized is in a group in which they're all in a row. If you bring them in one at a time, they will be in individual layers stacked up here. Then you group them to make your actual video. You can see that every single clip is a layer. And I wanted to show you, look, over here, I have a curves layer that's applied to this particular clip right here that we're to, actually it's clip A. Clip A is the beginning. Right here, notice it was a little dark, and you can see the slight change in hue saturation. Look at the yellows in there. And if I pop the curves on and off, you can see it adjusts it and it will carry through with these adjustment layers. All of these adjustment layers are available. As well as, now it's look at all the filters that we can apply to a layer. If I wanted to, I could apply the oil painting filter right to this layer and have it render out. Let me show you one that I did. We're going to actually, uh, let me go out here and just show you quickly what you can do with a video layer. It's absolutely remarkable here in Photoshop. 
Here's the oil paint filter. I just took this one clip and I've already rendered this out and there you have that same clip that I have in the video except we've applied the oil paint filter from Photoshop throughout the entire clip. It's absolutely amazing what can be done with this thing. Let's bring back up our video timeline and let's go back to the Sonata video. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take a new, we'll make a new video from scratch. Here's all of your clips and they're put in a group, in a video group, and there they are linearly. There's one, two, three, four, five clips on here. I have a soundtrack. Now the only drawback that I have found so far uh, in playing with the uh, video capabilities is you do not have a lot of editing control on the soundtrack. Now if you're just putting music across the background that's real simple. In the case of this video I made here I have a soundtrack where I wanted specific points of the music to match up with specific clips. And what I had to do, if you look over here in the right, you see cut points. I cut it and I have track one, track one. I had to take this section and cut it to the right point so that it would fit and then duplicate it and duplicate it again so that I would get the exact fit that I did. It's a very unorthodox and kind of bastardized, if you will, way of doing it but I came out with the results. So that's one of the drawbacks here. Everything else is extremely cool.